Can you tell us more about the guy that was on your couch when you came home? Or well, came that, to that was insane where, you know, for years everybody makes fun of me with social media. And like I told Bob at, at Bristol, I said, it, it's, all, it's all come around now. I found social media before anybody else did because it helped fund my racing years ago. And I, I was too embarrassed to tell people that, but uh, I'm on my couch, open the door up. You never heard this story. No. Yet. So this is about two weeks ago. I'm, uh, I'm on my couch, I'm watching TV, and I open the door up to let my dogs out. And I left the door open because it was, you know, it was nice out. And nice out. And I'm sitting there, and I, and I live on a hill by myself, gated. I look over, and here comes this strange man walk into my front door and gets ready to walk into my house. And I said, excuse me, do I know you? The guy goes, no, I don't know you. I'm just in town and I told my friend I was going to find out where Kenny Wallace lived. A strange <laughs> fan, because my it was all timing, walked right into my house. I said, well, you're that far. Hold on, let me get my cell phone. <laughs> that, was, that was my protection advice. So I put it on social media, and the fans couldn't believe it. Well, you're one of the guys who used to like social media. Those guys don't like it. Well, it, 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 listen, it, it's it's like my brother. He won't mind me quoting him on this. My brother Rusty asked me at Bike Week this year. He said, uh, "Tell me about that social media. Why you want it?" I said, "Well, that's the way I sold sponsorship. You know, and my 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 sponsors liked me being on TV because I did. I was with Fox. I worked with Bob Pockrass for 15 years. Bob got his job later, but my my, my sponsors were like, uh, we're going to sponsor your your cup car because you're on TV, and that's the way I skinned the cat, and then social media too. But I told Rusty, I said." You and your wife don't need to be on social media, but your nine car dealerships do. So That's I was right. right? That's right. Well, this is a pretty special weekend. I mean, get the, get the gangs all here, story time and all that. It's pretty nice to be back here on this kind of weekend, isn't it? It's everything to me to see Biff. He's one of my heroes, one of the greatest race car drivers in NASCAR history. He, he always drove loose. He was always lapping me, and I'm like, God, he can, <laughs> he can, he can drive. <laughs> Oh, it's nice being back, isn't it? And it, it is. It's is great to be back, and uh, you know, it's it's catching up with these guys and the stories. The most fun is the van ride down to the parade <laughs> with fifteen of these guys telling stories in the van. You know, and back. You remember this? You remember that? When we did this, and it's just great to reminisce and get back together and. And uh, great to be back at the track and see these guys do their stuff. My, my favorite story in there a little bit ago was uh, Jeff Bodine looked at Ron Hornaday and Mike Skinner and said, both of you guys spun me out. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the Hornaday and Skinner said, yep, we did. And uh, yeah, there's mother, brother Mike, but yeah, those, those uh, it, it's fun. I told Mike when we got us, now be ready. I said, these guys still got egos. I said, it's like, <laughs> it's, right. like, it's like Bobby Allison and Richard Petty are still fighting to this day. <laughs> so uh, race car drivers never forget to do that. Never. <laughs> never. I, I forget a little bit too much. So I always forgave a little bit because I'm like, is that the guy? Is that the you know? yeah. Well, now that you guys aren't running around the track together most of the time, how do you guys get each other back? Because back in the day, you can pay each other back on the track. Yeah, you just kind of. Now gotta, I can put my arm around Yeah, you just Back <laughs> then, it's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, NASCAR had it wrong for a lot of years. And uh, speaking to Mr. Jim France, Mike Helton, Chip Wow, Amber Wells, they all got together last year and they said, we got to we gotta do what the other sports are doing. You know, when I, and when I'm in St. Louis and I go to a Blues game, Cardinals game, and they do it in NFL, everybody's had an alumni. And, you know, Kyle Petty said it right. He says, you know, for years it was always the drivers, and the enemy was NASCAR, and NASCAR is coming around now, and the alumni is trying to correct that, and uh, it's on its way to where every driver, whether it's me or Biff, we should be able to come to a NASCAR race and just get in dead-ass free with good parking, <laughs> because how many hundreds of races did you run? A lot. A lot. About 18 years worth. I ran 905. Can, can I get a parking spot? <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, uh, and, I, and I think I think the reason, you, you know, not not necessarily drivers against NASCAR, 
but you know, they're, they're, you're always trying to get an edge. Yes. You're always trying to get an edge on the on whatever it is, and they got to make a call. You know, too fast on pit road, mm. and you know whatever that might be, and you're mad at them. Yeah. Right. It's not their fault. Yeah. But but that that's you know that's you, hard up. You guys miss it out there? Absolutely. Oh, I was here. Me and Biff were here yesterday on Saturday, and and I still hold the most starts for the Xfinity series. And I told Biff, I said, I'm going to go out and get my fix. I walked up and down pit road, yep. and, man, I could feel it going. I told Chris Rice, I said, tell Almondinger, get out of his car and let me in it. That's right. <laughs> I, walked, I, walked, I, walked, I went up and saw the 20 car, and I'm like, Eric Amarola, and I looked in there, looked at the seat, and I'm like, I can fit in that. No problem. Kenny, uh, speaking of uh, social media and uh, the old days and everything, yeah. with Race Up going away and everything and you being a – having a part in TV, you know, what do you make of that and your time working in TV? And uh, what do you think is the future? Is it is it more digital social media stuff or NASCAR yeah. coverage? Yeah, I did a coffee with Kenny about that this morning. All my friends are over there at, at the Hub. I, I retired from TV. I got tired of their playing the commercial reports, but um, I think we're seeing it right now with, you know, all the apps. Uh, the, the normal TV is, we all know it, and my bosses at Fox, they saw it going away five years ago. The normal antenna TV is just a thing of the past. These kids, they don't want to spend $160 a month. They want to go on YouTube and go straight to the race and whether, whatever apps there are. So unfortunately, you know, whether it's the truth or not, but I think the hub is one of those, just a victim, you know, because people get their information on all, the, yeah, on all these apps, you know. It's sad that... You know, they'll all end up on their feet. Greg, I know you were trying to run the Portland Xfinity race. Are there any updates with that? You know, I haven't. I haven't really got any updates, and you know, I, I always throw that out there to see what kind of shake the leaves on the trees to see what happens. But it would be a fun race for me. You know, it's home track or home area, and I won there in the truck, so it'd be fun to go back and run it. But I'll, maybe, maybe one of these years, I'll get back and uh, run that race. Kenny mentioned how it's been kind of NASCAR versus the drivers for a long time. Yeah. This is now the 10th year of the Roback, Roback Weekend. Had, was that kind of the beginning of, like, you know, forming those bonds, you know, between the drivers and the sport once again? Listen, I'm never going to put words in anybody's mouth, but I remember Kyle Petty sitting in a, a TV meeting when he, me and him were doing NASCAR race day, you know, fueled by Sunoco. And Kyle was in a meeting, and he said it. He said, listen, the whole time the Pet Petty Enterprise, they were racing, it was Petty Enterprise against NASCAR. And that's the way it was. You know, it's no different than us going to school, us against the teacher. And I think, you know, uh, I think right now you're, I think the alumni is trying to, uh, you know, look, we appreciate all the years you raised with us. And, but it was Kyle that said that, you know, probably 10 years ago, and I, and he was riding. I was riding on his motorcycle ride, drove 2,200 miles, and I remember him. I was thinking about that. He's right. And uh, do you, um, is there any you know, plans besides this weekend for the alumni? Oh, yeah. Well, right now I talked to Amber Wells because I was nosy wanting to know, you know, it, there's always, you know, what, what's the intentions? You know, because every, everybody's got an agenda. Everybody's trying to get everybody. You know, it's like, okay, what's this angle? Why is this alumni? I thought it was for Biffle to be here and all the fans go, man, Greg Biffle's here. I'm going to the races. You know, I mean, how many more people would come to this race if they're going to be able to see, you know, Hornaday, Skinner, Biffle? I mean, those three, they were like magnets. They got it. It's like he skipped right over. Maggots or magnets? Magnets. <laughs> <laughs> here, there they are. Oh, no, no. Hey, it, it, it's like it's like these. He called us maggots. These, or magnets? these oh, three, <laughs> these three were like magnets. It was so cool. They, it's like he skipped right over his cup career, and all the truck guys just went like that. And it was really cool to see. And I, I felt like the alumni, if all those guys came back, you know, maybe the fans that, you know, upset, maybe they'd come back. But uh, Amber says that she's going to start collecting all the data. They couldn't find Sterling Long and could not find his phone number. And, and they found it. So I think that's what this is all about. Where's everybody at? You know? Thank you. Thanks. Right. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.